Okay, this is. I have a problem with this uh, sandy regions. It's not gravel. I really need to practice this. I did click out, yeah, you can watch it again. I do it really fast. I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm good at clicking out of my... Yeah, I'm good at that. <laughs> yeah, well, I think the most difficult part um, in this challenge for me is the, the gravel. Um, because I'm, I'm easily uh, scared on a bike. I remember on the road when there was like a few pieces of sand, I'm starting... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to get nervous already or get off my bike. Um, so to buy a gravel bike was already uh, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's something, something new for me. But I'm still, yeah, if I'm f cycling in a group on gravel, I'm always in the back. Um, I'm always the slowest. Uh, so for me, that's, uh, that's the main challenge at the moment, yeah. yourself version of Unbound? Well, on June 1, we ride Rebound. And so are Polly, Jarle, Willy and Sophie. What have they been up to since last month? How's life on the bike treating them? And more importantly, is their joint score on the way up? Let's find out in episode 3 of The Long Way Home. April 12th, we're halfway the process towards June 1, D-Day. Time to check up with our four uh, heroes. Polly's been experiencing some, uh, some troubles. Willy just got back from training camp. Uh, Sophie trying to master the subtle art of, uh, of gravel still. And Jarle, well Jarle, let's say he needs some, some guidance in this process. Let's check in with them. Let's give them a call all together uh, and see how they are. Oh, and, and one more thing. They are so curious about what our plan for D-Day is. Well, we have a plan and we're just about to tell them. Hey guys, so well, how have you been? Me. How was your training camp, Willy? The weather wasn't so really great, but uh, the, the trainings that I planned, that they were all good, yeah. Hey, who's in the shape of their life? Sophie? I, I feel old. I feel getting old. <laughs> you want to swap? You want to swap? No, no, don't want to swap with you. <laughs> and you, Jarle? I'm looking forward to start riding outside. So I have to fix something on my bike. But I think uh, yeah. next weekend or something, I will go outside finally. How's life in the UK, Polly? Um, the weather's got a bit better recently, so... Yeah, well, my short sleeves and my shorts today, so that was nice. And you've been asking a lot about what are we going to do on D-Day, on Rebound Day. Well, we are uh, inviting you to the Netherlands and we'll invite people to join Team Polly, Team Sophie, Team Jarle, okay. Team Willy to, uh, to support you, ride with you. But we will start at the same point, we will finish at the same point and we will drink beers together afterwards. And Jimmy is fast, he told, he told me yeah. he's really fast. Yeah, yeah but yeah. I'm in team uh, Polly <laughs> or Willy. <laughs> I don't want to be You can be in team Jarl. I don't want to be in team Jarl. <laughs> it's, uh, it's on, and now you guys know what the plan is, so. All clear for June 1. Let's head over to beautiful Kungsvinger, Norway, to check up on Jarle and his, let's say, special morning routine. My daily morning routine starts with the wake-up call about 4.15 a.m. I go to the bathroom, I have a snack there like a banana or energy bar. And then after I'm done at the bathroom I just turn on my bike indoor and my Mac. And then I start riding. And then I have like two and a half hours before I have to be done. And then I have to rush to work. All dedication there. But based on Jarle's training record, Jim has noticed 
things aren't exactly going like Join wants it to go. Time for a little chit chat. Yo Yarla, so we just wanted to have like a little bit of a private chat. So the thing is, only a small portion of the training that Join provides are mm -hmm. actually done by you. And that leads to, let's say, not so much of an increase in, in performance. So you're not getting better because you're not doing the training Join set tells you to do. The reason I wanted to talk to you is actually, I, I think you can do better. What I saw just now is like over the past month, you've done like four workouts exactly as planned, how Join, yeah, planned them for you. The other were different. If you would decrease your training load a little bit and listen to Join a bit more often, mm. there's, there's more room to improvement. Mm. So I done a, I done a lot of Join workouts, but they haven't been as planned because that was the day we told me to do recovery. Yeah, event. you're actually uh, doing the structured workout on recovery days, but there, there, mm. there's, there might be a reason why sometimes you need a recovery day, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the main message is stop doing what you always do. Start using join. <laughs> okay. But the good thing is, I see a blue sky behind you. So. I hopefully will go outside uh, next weekend. With Have the fun. Bike. Don't go too fast, I would say. Take, okay. it, take it easy. <laughs> take some time to look around. Workouts. Thanks, man. With less than two weeks to go, it's time for a proper dress rehearsal to test the legs, the gears, the mindset. All things like D-Day, only half the distance. This can be a tough one though, pre-bound day. I'm going to do the dress rehearsal, the pre-bound, 160 kilometers. There's a lot of uh, gravel on this route, so I really like it. It's through the forest here, so beautiful scenery and uh, lots of gravel roads. The weather forecast says that it's going to be uh, about zero degrees or below and so it's going to be rainy and very cold so uh, <laughs> I will definitely be wet so yeah but at least it's not snowing <laughs> Maybe I'm a bit stubborn and uh, I'm not so good in changing my habits. That's why I've stayed with my wife for, uh, uh, for 11 years since we've been together and I have the same uh, ham and cheese on bread every day when I go to work. <laughs> so I, I, I like the same thing over and over again. Uh, but uh, if you're doing the same thing over and over again, you won't improve, you will just stay the same. So that's also my challenge, trying to adjust and uh, do new, new things. Rebound made me uh, reflect on things, uh, balancing the training more and be more structured. So I will take that with me uh, after this project, definitely. Planning the route for pre-bound, the dress rehearsal for pre-bound. I tend to like to start with a paper map because you can see a lot, and I've got a lot of paper maps because I like maps. It's about half past six. I was a bit anxious when I got up, um, but as I've got myself ready, I'm feeling better. I'm curious about the whole thing. <laughs> Oh, good morning. It's a day of pre-bound. It's uh, 7.30 in the morning at the moment and uh, I, I was sleeping in my van and it was actually kind of nice and quiet. I'm a little bit scared uh, of today's ride because I crashed my bike uh, almost two weeks ago. Still a little bit, uh, bit <laughs> a bit of a painful elbow uh, and I know that the uh, terrain here is pretty difficult so... Um... Mm. Liquids. <coughs> Hydration, two bottles, so, we're ready, weather doesn't look too great, it's going to be great today, hopefully no rain, see you later. Hey 
Yeah, when I read about this project, I thought this is, this is my chance to, to see what I'm capable of if I train properly. And well, when I try to train myself, I, I have some difficulties with, with food or, or other stuff. And I thought this is my chance to, to see what I'm capable of. Yeah, I'm really happy I'm, uh, I'm part of it. I'm really motivated to, uh, to cycle rebounds. I've never done such a big distance on gravel. <laughs> I'm also looking forward to, to see Jarle, Polly, Willy, of course. Uh, nice to, really nice to see them again. And it's also, rebounds also a huge challenge for me. So I'm really looking forward to it and I hopefully I can, uh, I will be able to finish. I think the most difficult part about rebound is the long distance because uh, I've done plenty of four to six hours ride but not the double of that. I have to focus more on fueling and uh, keeping my blood sugar uh, <laughs> at the right level. Yeah. I've done the first uh, half part, so about 80 kilometers, and uh, got 80 to go. I'm just trying to survive, I guess. <laughs> it's very, it's very wet and cold, so I guess this is must be harder than the real uh, rebound I'm doing uh, later in Netherlands. So we just done 100 kilometers. Um, it's been really hard. Another gate. How many gates have you had? Gates. Lots of gates in this bit. 100k. Everything goes perfect. Legs feel pretty good. Foot plan works pretty good. Just uh, weather. Could use a little bit of sunshine. Hope it comes in a couple of hours. So 100 Ks means 24 Ks away from my rest stop. Can't wait for that coffee. Oops. Your hands on the wheel. I have some bad news. I think my pre-bound adventure uh, just had ended. There's a big hole in my tube, so I'm, I don't think I can fix this <laughs> or anyone else. So I have to find a place where I can buy a new tube. I will do the longer ride another time because uh, today was a really bad day. So I will do it next weekend, I think, for real. So. Good practice uh, being cold and wet. <laughs> Rebound. What a trip. Super happy. Super, super happy. Did a lot of miles. A lot of gravel. A lot of mud. Almost there. Last gate. Last gate and then home. Ready for that. Well deserved. Coffee. We got her back at 7.35. 13 hours <laughs> after we left home. I'm feeling shattered. <laughs> Quite honestly, completely shattered. I, I, I just want to have a shower and um tired we had lots of challenges endless challenges i don't think it's given me the confidence that i hope this would i don't know why i found it such a struggle today just i don't know if i just lost a lot of fitness when i had covid and i've still got like this cough and it's maybe i'm not quite right i don't know but i just found it really hard and i think doing it again now second half you know with Yala dress rehearsing the after party with his family that's it for episode three with only two weeks until rebound day one thing is clear there is work to be done
We'll find out in the final episode of The Long Way Home, The Road to Rebound. Denver is a beautiful place to go hiking. But I would recommend hiking shoes. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I've, I haven't been very lucky with the uh, material stuff, but this stuff can happen and I really hope in three weeks, um, when we rebound, I have a little, little bit more luck. I have to walk 10k, so it be fine, I think. You feel it